Hi guys, it's Damaris and I wanted to show you a project I've been meaning to work on since last Christmas and just never got around to it. I really don't know why. We're just a few days away from Christmas and I figured I might as well do it because it was one of the things I really wanted to do this year. And that was to um, create my own ornament now. This uh, box. I think this is from I'm going to say Joanne. This is the Joanne brand. And these are $3.99 normally for five bulbs. But um, I did get these when they were on clearance last year so I really don't remember what I paid. It might have been 50 cents. But um, just to show you what they look like. I know you've seen them. But I wanted to show you the before. And so it's just a regular clear bulb. And these pop, top pieces pop out. And you can decorate it however you like. So um, I decided that I was going to do glitter. And um, I bought a product that... Um, I was referred to by a Google search. Let me see if it's in this drawer next to me. It's called Glitter It. And it's specifically designed for a project like this. It's about $4.99 at your local uh, craft store. I really can't find it, you guys, so I'm sorry. But, um,. I did get it and I did show it in a recent haul but I just can't find it so that's why I kept putting off doing the ornaments and then I saw in a recent video um, a lady her name is Rashida I forgot her YouTube user she basically got this at her dollar store for a dollar obviously and she said using this will just work the same so it's hairspray so I decided I would try it out myself and I did and I really thought it was super easy so let me show you what I came up with so the first step would be to um, pour the hairspray into this um, glass tube glass ornament and coat it so you start circling it around shake it up and make sure every little corner has the hairspray then you empty it out either you can throw it away or you could put it back in the bottle it wouldn't matter because um, it's not affected by any glitter yet so you could just reuse that and then um, what I did was I created this funnel with some paper that was just sitting on my desk so I created this paper funnel and then I poured in this is the glitter I used extra fine glitter by Recollections in um, Espresso let's see if it will focus and so I just poured it in there and it immediately fell inside the glass I covered it with my finger I shook it up and just let it air dry poured out the the extra glitter in the garbage because it would be clumpy so I didn't want it to I didn't want to put it back in my jar and um, so this would be the first step and then the second thing I did was I purchased these but this is hard to use on a round object so I won't be able to use these on the balls but I decided that I would use my Recollections Bling on a Roll and this you could purchase at Michael's for $5.99 you get one yard but this is this is double so you could split it in half and use it that way that's, just, that's what I've been doing and this is the bigger size so you can get the smaller size Bling and it, it'll work just the same so what I did was I, this one I did in gold, in case you're wondering, this is the one I used, Extra Fine Glitter Recollections in gold, 
and I have bought these recently on sale and on top of that I had a coupon so I came out to like a dollar something for that glitter but they're normally um, $3.99 for the for the jar of glitter and so I coated it gold and then the second step I did was I created a initial with the bling on a roll and um, I think the hardest part is to just make sure that it aligns straight as so so that when you hang it it looks like it's not crooked or anything you know so that was the second step the third step I did and this one is called Peacock and it's by the same company so the third step was to put back the cover inside and um, I hot glued it down and then I pressed the, the sides because these sides they open up they lift up excuse me I'm about to sneeze <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, excuse me I'm sorry I can't edit this video um so so uh, I hot glued that down and then I wrapped it with with some ribbon so that it doesn't show you know the hot glue and it doesn't show the contrast I did a double wrap around and so now I'm ready to decorate the ball this one kind of looks a little crooked huh so the A stands for Axel for my husband's name and this is gonna be his ornament let me show you my ornament first and our 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 Christmas decor for the past three years has been this teal color so I decided to go along with it because next year I, I want to do something completely different. But So what did I do? I used some of um, Carla's wheat sprays here. And this is clear. I left it clear. I added some um, iron roses, flowers, some wild orchid craft flowers. This baby breath I got at the Dollar Tree. And I've been using it a lot, so it was a great deal for me to buy that. These little pieces right here that you see, these little blings, this is also from Carla's Etsy shop, and it looks like this when you purchase it. I don't know the item numbers for her um, for stock, and this actually she sent me as a free gift when I made a purchase on Black Friday. So you could just go check out her Etsy and look for these they're really pretty so I decided to just trim them down I stuck the little um, piece inside the hot glue and then I just put them around the top of the ornament where I thought it needed a little bit of fill and then in the back I added a maple leaf from I Am Roses one of these light uh, aqua color flowers and then the 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 feathers I got a batch I think this was a hundred feathers they're right here and I got um them on Etsy a while ago so I'm glad I was able to use those and then I tried to cover the the opening at the top I tried to cover it with the baby's breath and then I added this silver ribbon and at the very top I made a bow and then I cut out one of those bling on a rolls and added it to the middle here so this is my ornament D for Damaris and um, it was really easy once you get all the coating and the glittering done I made up a word didn't I <laughs> I'm always doing that it's easy to just add colors and decorate so this is the other one I made this one is red and gold and this one is for a friend her tree this year is red and gold I hope that's what I thought I heard <laughs> and um, so this is what I did I added well these red flowers these were for from a rack from a friend that I have here in Florida she sent me some flowers from a local warehouse that she goes to and I use these on my Christmas cards and I also use them on this and they were perfect so I use that I use some recollections I use some wild orchid crafts here you could see the little ones and then this spray 
Um, I never bought her colored sprays, Carla. So what I did was I uh, alcohol inked it, and it took a while to dry. So, and as you can see, it's still kind of like coming off on my hand. No, actually, I think I think they're dry now. Yeah, I think they're dry now. But it was taking a while, so I had to um, dry it with my heat gun, with my heat tool, and um, you know I was afraid to burn it. So I didn't want to do that, but I had to because I wanted to finish the, the ornament. And then I added some of these gold leaves from a branch that I got at Michael's. I just cut them down and added little pieces here and there. Added some more of the baby breath and then added some more of these um, sprays from Carla's Etsy store. Added the feathers and then also have the maple leaf in the back. Added the ribbon inside. Oh, on the on the ring that's in there. Added the ribbon. And this time I didn't put a bow because I didn't have enough of this gold ribbon. So I didn't put the um, bow at the top. But I did do a knot and I stuck it inside the loop there. But you won't be able to see it. So this is the end green I mean red and gold and let me show you the other one again side by side this one's kind of leaning to the side because it's stuck and one of those there it is so this is what they look like and um, they were really fun and easy to make and I hope to uh, finish the other three and do one more for, for Giovanni <laughs> before um before christmas <laughs> have a few days left so um if you have any questions i try my best to um make sure i cover everything and if you pay attention you might uh not have any questions but um in case you do and if it's something that i have not covered in the video i will answer your question maybe after christmas so um this will probably be my second to last video before christmas so merry christmas and i will talk to you soon bye guys